Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. I'm thrilled to be here in New York City uh, with my good friend Alex Petrosin. We've set up a little bit of a shoe shine table today. He's uh, one of my fellow shoe lovers, and we kind of share the same passion for shoes and for shoe shining and for uh, you know all things just fine and elegant. And so we're enjoying a little bit of champagne. We've got some Saphir shoe polish, and uh, we've got some shoes that we're going to shine together. Today. Exactly, exactly. The only thing that's fun. missing is the cigar, which we're not allowed to smoke given New York City regulations. So. Uh, we're doing our next best thing, which is uh, some nice champagne. We've got actually, this is a leftover bottle uh, that we were drinking during our, our caviar series of the uh, La Grande Dame 2006 Brut Vintage Champagne. So thank you. Oh, my pleasure. You know, for all your generosity. Good champagne, good friends, that's all you need. So uh, Alex and I actually met out of a, a random coincidence of just shared passions. Uh, you know, he, uh, as you know, is of the Petrosin family, and he runs uh, the Petrosin Caviar in the United States for his family. And, um, you know, caviar is one of my favorite gifts to give. I mean, it's like my gift. It's my signature now. And so, of course, I was familiar with Petrosin. And then Alex, unbeknownst to me, is a, a huge shoe lover that has been a shoe lover uh, really his entire adult life. And so one day, you know, I'm sitting there in my office, I still remember this like it's yesterday, I'm you know, flipping through my orders and I see you know, a pretty large order come through with overnight shipping to New York City from an Alex Petrosin. And I said, what are the chances? I said, there's no way that there could be overnight another Petrosin. Yeah, for one, who overnight shoe polish? And so I said, well, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna write him a note and tell him how much I love his, his caviar and uh, appreciate giving these gifts. And so I sent that with a few surprises. And, yeah. and I love your website, you know, so I respond. I think, I think that you didn't even respond, you just, you, you, even better, you sent some things back to me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. with yeah, a yeah. similar note. And, exactly. um, and then we connected. And then we connected and, you know, I mean, we share, of course, a, a shared passion of, uh, of shoes and, and just shoe care. But uh, you know, cigars, and yeah, you've got good, young children the same things. age. And yeah, yeah. I think we're passionate about good things. You know, uh, uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful, and good things. You know, uh, uh, good shoes, a good shine, a uh, uh, good polish, uh, good brush, yeah. good hangers, yeah, craftsmanship, <laughs> and you know, what are they? The the you know the. What is it? The French and the savoir faire. The, yeah, how no. do I pronounce that correctly? Uh, I'm sorry. The, the the good life in French. What is it? Um, the the, the c'est la vie. C'est la vie. Yeah, 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 yeah. A good life. Uh, um, and I think you know the the, the, the best thing about uh, loving shoes is to love. Uh, it's to love how to to learn how to take care Absolutely. of them. Absolutely. Um, because you know, uh, let's face it. You know, uh, beautiful shoes are an investment. And you should take care of this investment as best as possible. You know, yeah. Well, and I think also, I mean, you know, you've invested in shoes, but a great pair of shoes should last and evolve. And I think one of the things about shoe care that I particularly enjoy is just seeing a pair of shoes evolve, right? I mean, the patina changes, yep. you know, maybe, you know, you're shining it differently. It's, you know, in and out of high shine, yep. not high shine. And, yep. you know, just the ritual of sitting down and taking care of something. I love it. Uh, is, is savoring. Uh, I, it it relaxes me. Uh, it really does. You know, uh, I sit down, a nice drink. Uh, it, you know, that's the way. That's the way I relax. You know. So, so let's look at uh, as what we what we have here. So we've got uh, two shoes. We'll let you reveal first. So I have some uh, beautiful uh, Berluti shoes that uh, my godmother Olga um, did for me uh, for my wedding. Actually. Oh really? Um, she. Uh, so you walked down the aisle on these? I did actually. Uh, and uh, they, um, she used uh, red skin for this part here, in calf for here. What type of skin is this? Uh, ray. Ray? Uh, yeah. Stingray? Yeah, yeah stingray. Okay. Um, she removed all the bump, make it uh, super supple, super uh, light leather. Um, and they, they are Almost my... Almost looks like calf skin. It, it really does. Uh, and they are by far my most comfortable uh, shoes, it's, uh, it's, they, they're great, they're really great, really great. So one of the, uh, just, I mean, kind of random facts is Olga Berludi is in fact your godmother. It, she is. Um, uh, the, the, uh, my father and her are great friends. Your father's uh, a shoe lover also, right? That's is. how they met. Um, that, that's how they met and uh, uh, my dad was going to the uh, Berludi store in Paris. Um, that's how he met Olga. Um, and Olga is such a passionate person about shoes that, you know, you have to love you know, hearing her talking about it. My father gave me my first pair um, uh, of his when I was, I don't know, 16. Um, and he gave me one of his old pair of uh, Berluti. 
And you know, I loved you know to see how I could take care of it. They were a little bit up. They were a little used. You know, they were you know 15 years old. And you know, I learned. That's how I learned how to take care of them. I wanted to look. I wanted them to look great. I still keep the, the the patina that was going on. And that's really how I learned. So I asked uh, uh, Olga to uh, teach me uh, how to uh, take care of it properly, and she did. Um, and you know, I kind of evolved around it afterwards using different type of product. Uh, different thing, the kind of things, and I think that's where you, you make your ex this experience your own. Um, it's when you know you start playing with the product, see how they react, yeah. um, see how they, 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 they use, um, and that's really how I discovered the, the, the Napa cream. Um, I used to use the Renovator for everything, um, but now I'm, I don't know the, the, the Napa. I, I think it just nourish the, the leather better. Yeah. Um, well, the Napa is um, is you know really one of the most unique products from uh, Sapir in that it is just a conditioner. There's no waxes. No waxes. So uh, it's jojoba oil and I think, I think some whey protein. It nourishes the leather, but it doesn't change the texture yep. and it won't change the color, right? Yep. Yep. Um, it won't actually pull any of the old um, pigment off. Pigment off. Oh, really? okay. um, uh, like uh, the Renovato will pull some of it off. Mm -hmm. um, the Napa doesn't. This is a tale of two totally different shoes. Uh, similar, black similar. cap toe Oxfords, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, these are a pair of my bespoke uh, GJ Cleverly or George Cleverly shoes. I love this. This is, um, you know, just, it wasn't my first pair actually. You know, my first pair I gravitated towards uh, Burgundy Hole Cut, which I love this shoes. probably should have been my first pair, but. Um, this is a nice touch, I think. The, the, yeah, the, the emboss. I mean, just every aspect of just the process of. Um, having them made and the personalization and you know I always say that if, if someone was to have one bespoke shoe it should be a black cap to Oxford. I mean yeah. you could wear it to your wedding. Uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to wear these to my wedding but my first bespoke suit was in fact my wedding. Yeah. Or bespoke tuxedo. But it's versatile. It, it is very versatile. You know, I love these you shoes and as you can them, see. You can uh, yeah, uh, wear them with jeans. Yeah. yeah wear oh them yeah. Often. Oh I love wearing black. And uh, you know there's uh, a reason black has a reputation of uh, being classic is because black never looks bad. And, and I believe they are easier to, to shine, to, uh, to a high shine. The, the black shoes are easier. You can make opinion. black look great. Uh, the, 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 the lighter they are, the, the harder it is to, uh, to get a great shine on it, in my opinion. So I like to do a nice mirror shine on the toes. You can see these uh, need a little bit of attention. Yeah, so, me too. Uh, we're going to do that. We've got uh, you know, all of our accoutrement here. I've got you know, our, our water dispenser. I've got some cold water from the champagne bucket in here. Uh, we've got some cream, some wax, some mirror gloss. Um, some Napa cream. You've got actually, this is a tin of Berluti shoe polish. And now of course, you know, Berluti is private labeling Saphir and you can tell this uh, by smelling it. It's a great quality. You know, polish. you can smell, but this is a great example of really what was the genesis of the mirror gloss, which is, Anyone that has been shining shoes that really enjoys a mirror shine would allow their Pat Deluxe to dry out a little bit by leaving the tin open. And once the wax cracked, it meant that you know, those solvents have evaporated and you had a higher concentration of those hard waxes. So the mirror gloss is really essentially just this. Yeah. Um, so you clearly have had this for a while. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit. That's great. So we've got some chamois here. Yes. So this is our high shine chamois, uh, but you have actually to. have a, an interesting chamois that I think you should share. Yeah, I mean, I use my uh, son's uh, old 100% uh, um, uh, clothing um, because they're very soft. They're made for kids, so they're very soft, very nice. And I like to use this um, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a chamois. Yeah, this is um, a great chamois. Um, the first part um, that I do, uh, I do, I put some Napa cream just to nourish, um, uh, do a light brush before. Here we go, we're sharing a brush today. Yes. Remove any debris or residue on the shoe. Um, then I apply the Napa cream with my hands, um, just because it's, um, um, uh, there's no more, uh, no much solvent in it, um, so it's not, you know, anything that could hurt uh, your your hands or your 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 skin, um, and it really allows you to 
to see where the, 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 it's, it's needed most. Um, it really goes on nicely. It really, it really you know, it's so much thinner. Uh, it's it's the, thinner the and, uh, and it's, uh, um, uh, it, it almost feels like a, a moisturizer that you would use for, uh, for your skin, actually. It's, it's, um, uh, the, the, the texture is not very different from this. Well, if you think about shoe care, I mean, you know, it's skin right. care is yeah. the same thing as shoe care. I mean, it's all, I mean, you know, leather is a skin. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I don't know if I put some, uh, some Renovator right after shower. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe some Napa leather on. <laughs> I mean, how much pressure are you applying? Are you really kind of working this in? I, 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 uh, almost like a, like a massage. Um, you know, you want, uh, you want this to, to penetrate the, 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 the leather. Um, so I use uh, as much pressure I would use like uh, if I was uh, doing a massage. Because that's exactly what I'm doing to my shoes. <laughs> And I love the smell of the Napa cream. Um. It does. It's, you know, I, I don't I actually don't use the Napa enough. So I'm, I'm happy to be using it today. I mean, because, I mean, it doesn't have any waxes, but you're going to add waxes with, yeah, with, the know, cream, with the cream. Yeah, with the cream so, polish afterwards. And, um, you know, I always tell people on our videos, I mean, you, you know, each of the products that you're using, I mean, you have to think about why you're using it. What's the purpose? You know, with the conditioner, it's the condition. Exactly. You know, with the cream uh, polish, it's and pigment. I, and I finish what I have left on my, on my fingers, uh, on the heel, nourish kind of the heel. But that's my own uh, thing. Actually, sometimes I would actually use it on the, on the, on the, on the actual sole. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a sole conditioner? Yeah. I mean, now that they came up with the Soul Guard, I, use, I prefer using the Soul Guard because it just drinks easier. And it's a little bit water resistant, which is yeah. nice to have. You're so fast with that Berlutti now, it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's because I do it on my son. Uh, a lot of times. You don't have much time. And uh, he's not the most patient, patient, uh, patient person. No, uh, no, no but I love to, uh, to ask him, you know, what he wants. Do you want the Persian shoe shine? Do you want the, the Persian nut? Do you want the Berlin nut? Or just a regular nut? Yeah, so actually, I mean, you know, it was, o it was over dinner at your house that I actually first <laughs> learned of the Berlin nut. I, that's actually, we talked about that in the video. I like to tuck in the... The, 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 the laces. Uh, the laces. So, so do you remove uh, your laces? I, I do only when I do um, a, a very deep, uh, like, like, you know, when I do the, present, uh, the presidential shoe shine, like you have in your video, I would remove the, 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 the laces just because I'm going deep and I'm going, um, this is just a, a maintenance thing. Um, so I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's, we get a lot of the questions in our videos. But the, you, you know, know why don't you remove your shoelaces? And the reality is, is lacing shoes is, a pain. But I have nothing against people that, you know. I mean, if you have the time to do it, that's great. But I mean, if removing your shoelaces, the I time it takes is, is the difference between shining your shoes and not, then you know, you're better off to just shine your shoes with your shoelaces. And actually, the waxes from the polish are good for the laces. It helps condition and wax the laces. Yeah. But I, I do think it's actually better to remove them if you have time, uh, because you can, you know, uh, do a little better job, I think, in, 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 yeah, in, in really going, uh, going uh, uh, on the tongue and doing it everywhere. Um, but, you know, you don't always have time to, to, to remove the laces. Yeah, I really like how this is going in. It's great, huh? So whenever you're done, do you buff this off? I do. Can you pass the brush, please? I do, of course. I brush this off. Um, if, I, if I have a fan, uh, handy. I will actually put them in front of the fan for a little bit, so it dries nice uh, and it's well, uh, well, uh, it's nice and dry all over. Because usually when I shine shoes, I shine more than one pair at a time. So I, I, the, I apply the napa, let it dry until I, I apply the napa on all of them, mm -hmm. and then I'll brush all of them, and then I'll apply the cream on all of them, and kind of. Um, and usually I do three to four at the, at the time. Um, it allows me to really. Uh, uh, so, where do you? It. When do you prefer to shine your shoes? Do you have a particular ritual? I, I do. Uh, so, when I uh, put the kid to sleep, 
Um, then we eat uh, with uh, my lovely wife, and uh, and then uh, uh, and then that's when I start to shine, you know. Cigar, scotch, or just you know, the kitchen table and uh, uh, you know some in, in, wine. Exactly, uh, wine, champagne, uh, cigar. If my wife is not uh, is in the, uh, in a business trip or is uh, not at home, uh, I'm not allowed to smoke when uh, when she's here. <laughs> That's why I installed the uh, the, 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 uh, the smoke uh, filtration system at the office. Um, cheers, my friend. Yeah, cheers. Hey, it's nice to be doing this together. Yeah, definitely. Mm. That's good. Well, here's the brush if you need to use that. I also do a little check to see if, uh, if they drink well. Shark. I mean, this is shark skin. I never... No, it's uh, Ray. Ray, Stingray. That's unbelievable. I mean, Olga... And she, she, she would remove the upper crust, which are the, the, the bumpy part, and the leather is just super comfortable. I mean, the stacking on the heel is just superb. Look at how that's seated. Then I do a nice brush. And actually, I think the Napa does a good job bringing out the shine of the shoes. Sometimes, you know, if the, the, the shoe are well taken uh, take care of, the only thing you need to revive this, this, this shine is just a little Napa cream, and you're done. You know, the upper is really well shined. I mean, all except for the toe cap. Yeah. It's the mm -hmm. only thing I would... Touch but up I like to use a little bit of wax cream polish, you know. I apply the cream polish also uh, with my hand. Just I can, because I can feel better where the, the leather needs it more. The only thing you have to be careful when uh, doing those uh, is that you don't put any cream under your fingernail. Because that's a... To remove. Yeah. You almost need a brush to scrub your fingernails. Yeah. And even this cream polish is a little drier than, oh, yeah. than new. <clears throat> and it's, uh, you know, it's interesting to see, again, just kind of as the texture of the polish even evolves, kind of as you, you know, use it. The, the cream polish, when I get it, I let, the, let it dry for maybe a night. Really? Uh, I leave it open for the night. And it's a uh, much, much thicker consistency. But, you know, we all have different experience. Uh, the only problem with you know, applying the clean with your hands is that you have you know, pigment all over your hands. Yeah. But that's okay. Nothing that a good soap can't remove. I actually keep some uh, shop soap in the bathroom at work because I often yeah. you know, end up with... And you know, this cream is very thick. It's actually it's also nice. really good for just the edges. Yeah, I use it on the edges from time to time. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try this. I'm actually, whenever I get back to the office, I'm gonna allow some of my cream to dry off because it's it nice actually, though. it feels like it goes on, it goes on much thicker. Yep. Um, you probably have a higher concentration of pigment. You do. And um, it probably, I mean, if you really are careful to work it into the leather, probably does a, a, a much better job conditioning. Yeah, and also I think when it's dry like this, it does a better job waterproofing uh, for the second part, when you high shine. Um, that makes sense, it's got a higher concentration of waxes, right, which is doing yeah. the waterproofing. I love your brush. I mean, those long uh, bristles are just game-changing. You know, the, uh, the large brush is my favorite because I'm less likely to ding the yeah. shoe because yeah. I missed and because the, 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 the distance. The wood is not as uh, close because you know, I've done that before. I've been shining oh, with me a medium too. brush and then... It pisses me off. <laughs> you know, you're right at the end on the final brush. You and scratch you... your shoe. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite shoes you've gotten from Olga? I mean, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, incredible um, woman. I've never met her. I'd love to one day. I mean, she's a legend. I mean, what she was doing with shoes in the 70s and 80s was... It's I incredible. Mean, revolutionary. I mean, her work is incredible. I mean, now, you know, there's a lot of people that have copied it, but, you, you know, in the context of the time, I mean, it was... She was one of the groundbreaking. first. Groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. She was one of the first. Uh, and, you know, she, she has such a passion for, you know, the well-dress that it's, 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 um, uh, it's communicative, you know. And, I mean, her and my dad are responsible for my shoes addiction, you know. Now, can you fit into your father's shoes? Thank God I can. Um, you because, can? Yes, I can. Um, because he has a... A great collection, um, and I, I'm, I'm a big lover of uh, 
vintage uh, shoes um, and you know there's no way to get them anymore so you know I, I just steal them from him. When he's at work I would go in his uh, closet, steal whatever I want and hide it in my back. <laughs> Until he, he, he you know found it. And then he calls me and he's like Alex. where are those? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I was about. polishing them. <laughs> I don't know what you're, well that, that's that, that's one of the prime you know when uh, when I go home uh, my brother wants uh, uh, me to, to do some shine. Uh, my dad wants, uh, wants me to do some shine. So w when I'm finished with the cream, I always touch um, to see if it's dry all over, and then I brush. Because you get nice shine when it's, uh, when it's dry with the cream. It's, it's, you know, sometimes it's just stop right there, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <coughs> You'll need Especially a mirror with shine the, the thicker time, you know? kind of consistency yeah, yeah. of the dry You're going to see it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's going to give you a better shine than mine. Mine is not as uh, dry. So I'm using blue because I want to keep this blue-green color. So I'm using blue for, uh, for the upper and you're using black, straight black. So did you apply the, the navy to, to this area that yeah, you also? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere, and so I, you know, I guess it's a great illustration that you know the pigment is transparent, right? So it's not. I mean, you know, the, you're still the, able yeah. to see. On the cream, is all higher concentrate than on those. The uh, wax, of course. Yeah. Uh, but, but even uh, still, it's a little. I mean, it's transparent. It's not bad. I mean, you know, it, 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 I, I, I forgot to order uh, some polish, and I want to shine. Uh, so I use a different color. It doesn't really matter. Actually, I love using blue for black shoes or red for black shoes. I think it works very well. Oh, there's no question. Yeah, yeah, very well. I mean, that goes to the experimentation. I mean, everyone starts off wanting to follow the rules. I mean, we get a lot of question uh, from customers about what's right, what's wrong. But you know, at a certain point, you graduate. I mean, you have to learn the fundamentals. You have to learn the rules. But at a certain point, you know, once you really understand shoe care, you know, you can graduate past that and begin experimenting. Yep. I mean, red polish on a pair of black shoes just gives it's a great. beautiful subtlety. Yeah. Or, and you know, dark a... brown on a pair of light brown shoes. I mean, we did a uh, antiquing video. I saw it. And you know, even I was surprised. I mean, you know, so we do these videos, and we never know exactly how the shoes are going to turn out. And I have to say, the um, you know, they were unbelievable. Now, what do you have there? That is. Uh... That's um, uh, that's the saphir, um, but I <laughs> I light it on fire to burn uh, all the excess uh, uh, solvents. Uh, so there is even less solvent than in, in those. Uh, How burn long them do you off. let it burn? I just light it on, on fire, let it, uh, let it uh, so I, I let it in the middle, let it spread, and then I blow it. And do you do that uh, like before you're applying it, or do you just um, do it whenever you receive it? Um, I do that, well, if, um, if I want to, uh, if I have, uh, I've never um, shine a pair of shoes, a new shoes I want to shine, I'll actually um, light on fire and use the liquid wax to actually, um, uh, so it penetrates better uh, and it's easier to shine at the end. Um, uh, but like this, I'm just going to rub some and, uh, and play around. <coughs> so just the, uh, I mean, just the cream polish. Yeah. Alone, I mean, this does is a great job. Unbelievable. Those are gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, I probably actually won't even apply a hard wax. No, to, you don't need to. You know, the rest of the shoe. I'll just you focus really don't on need to. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to apply it on the on the on the toe and on the on the sides. So as you saw on most of your video, and uh, it, it really makes sense. It's less and is is more. So you don't want to apply too much uh, polish, the, the the as little as possible. And then I start with the water. So I do I drop a couple of drop on my chamois, and then I you know damp it dry on the towel. Um, so I lose all the excess water. Because too much water, it screws everything up. Um, and then I start, you know, applying. And here we're lucky because we have the AC right on top of us, and it really helps um, shine. Yeah, one of the tricks that uh, that you can do is you can actually you can put your shoes in front of a fan. Yeah. To help accelerate. Really and are helps. you using cold water? Do you find that cold water? I use cold water. Uh, I, I, I prefer... That was one of Olga's methods yeah. for yeah. You know, her shine. I'd rather use uh, cold actually water. Actually, buffing the chamois with cold water because it hardens the waxes. Yeah. And then I just play with the wax because I already have water on my chamois. So I just need to add more wax slowly, build up the shine. 
I love this process, you know, bringing the shine out. You know, I'm always surprised, I mean, even as someone that shines his shoes quite often, you know, I'm still, it's always so gratifying. Uh, to it see, is, you know, it is. How they turn out, I mean, even right here, I'm, you know, actually have really, really pleased with the shine. And you know, the question is, when do you stop? You know, when do you stop shining? When is it shiny enough? And That's to me, I it's, you know, and to me, it's shiny enough when you can read time with your watch through the through the the, <laughs> the capto. So that's how I recognize right, there we go. if it's shiny enough. It's if I can read time with my watch on the capto, I'm good and I stop. I've never seen someone do it. Yeah, I can I can read the time. Yeah. You would see often people doing this with their chamois is to see how much water is left on the chamois. You know, tap it on your on your hand like this. Yeah. You know, I, I like to take my chamois, I use a leather shoe shine carpet, and I'll, again, I'll, even if I have wax on my chamois, I'll oh, rub yeah, it against yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. shoe shine carpet because, you know, you really want a clean chamois. I mean, having some waxes in the fabric is a good thing, as long as it's not too much, because no. then it begins to skip. It begins to skip, and then you won't achieve. Uh, so, you know, the best way is just to tap it onto the wax. Absolutely. You don't need to rub it. Uh, just tap it onto the wax, but the trick is the water part. And I think it's the tricky part, not to Less push too is much more, water. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I think the best way is to apply, you know, water directly to the chamois, um, and uh, and you know, dump it dry, because then you're sure you don't put too much. And you need a very absorbent paper to do this. So you're just using a um... yeah, regular uh, regular uh, um, uh, cloth, uh, paper cloth. So any interesting shoes in the works, any, any projects? Um, actually, yes. Um, I have uh, a Saint Crispin shoes in the work. Uh, those are gonna be absolutely amazing. Um, they're gonna be uh, uh, boots, uh, green boots. It's gonna be American Bison, green, um, split toe. Really? Yeah, those are gonna be great. You really love your colors, it's, uh, you keep it interesting. Is I, that you know, French? Heritage of yours. I love, uh, I, I, you know, I, I think you know, playing around with color and shoes is, is you know, one of the best part of, uh, of, of, of shoes. And, and you know, it doesn't happen over day, over, overnight, you know. You start by black, um, then I had uh, a tan, uh, then I love burgundy shoes, so I had a, a nice burgundy. And I think once you have black, brown and burgundy, you know, then you can work your way around and kind of build up your collection finish so yep. quickly. Yeah, you're very efficient. You know, even the shine just on the back quarters, I mean, how do you work, how do you build that? I mean, are you building it with the mirror gloss also? Yeah, mirror gloss. And the, the secret, uh, I think, to go fast, it's to just tap it on less to the, more. yeah, definitely less is more. Especially with the mirror gloss, I mean. Yeah. Could you hand me the brush? Yes. And I think the more you wait um, with the, the cream, the easier it is to get a nice shine on it. And the more you wait with uh, how long you let it dry on the leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things I like to do is I'll actually shine shoes at the office and it allows me to kind of stretch the process out yeah, over a few yeah, days. Yeah. You know, it's not like if I'm doing it at home, I, you know, I want to complete whatever it is I started. Yeah, because you want the reward of having it. <laughs> yeah, or it's like, you know, you have a finite window and, you know, the kids are down. And yeah, it's yeah. It's like the wife's you know, ran to the store or something. Honestly, with young children, I feel like I don't get much time to shine shoes at home. No, the majority I used to be a spoke to spend the half of Sunday shining shoes. My wife won't allow that anymore. <laughs> so we become very efficient in our technique. We, we have to, you have to. And I think, you know, the, 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 the mirror gloss is by far the best tool. Yeah, whenever I travel, I'll just take a little bit of wax polish and uh, the mirror gloss with me. Awesome. Actually, I just take the mirror gloss. Or just the mirror gloss, <laughs> I mean. I just take the mirror gloss. I mean, I find that the two, I mean, and then I'll always take this little spritzer bottle. I love this because I, I really love it. You can also use it for ironing because you never, like, never want to iron a shirt at a hotel with an iron you don't know no. how it's been no. treated because it could spit, you know some you nasty, know, rust and nasty yeah. water and you ruin your only white shirt. And, and so I'll use half an hour after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, 
the morning of your meeting, I also always travel with an extra pair of shoelaces. You know what, I learned that from you. I now, anytime I travel, I, um, I take uh, uh, some uh, button for my shirts, because you, know, you don't want to lose like, the top button for, the, the, for, the, uh, for an important meeting, and I'll take an extra pair of, shoe shine, uh, of uh, shoelaces. Insurance policy. So have you ever tried any champagne? I, well, I, I'm afraid of it. I know Olga does it. Um, and I know it's the one of our tricks, uh, but it, I'm, I'm, I, I'm afraid of using alcohol on the leather. I don't know. I feel like I'm not specialist enough or I'm not <laughs> you know, good enough. It's hard to believe, but I can, I can certainly relate with the apprehension. You know, I think also it's a question of habit. You know, it's, it's, it's really a, a habit to, to, to shine your shoes. And I think once you come to your own technique, it's very hard to change it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once you figure out your own technique, I mean, it really is it's part of the efficiency. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Kind of whatever works, works. Well, that is beautiful. I'm telling you, that's impressive. And I think you're right on your video. It's really the, 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 the hard part is to build up. And I think, you know, the, 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 the less is more sentence is really something you should always, you know, remember. Um, it's not because we're cheap and we don't want to use more, uh, more shoe shine. It's just because it, it, it works better yeah. if you apply a, a small amount. Well, I mean, and especially with the Saphir, it's such high quality stuff that you don't need much. Honestly, it's just a matter of getting it on there. I mean, you need, you know, with the mirror shine, I mean, you do need a certain level of saturation of the pores. Yeah. But, you know, honestly, with the mirror gloss, it's as little as two to three coats. You know, yeah. you can work up a really nice shine. And then the more the patient, the more patient you are, you are the better shine you get. You know, if you have the patience to, you know, three, four, five, six coats, you're well, fine. You, you know? know. So what I've spoken with, you know, various kind of patina people, you know, the the number of layers is what kind of creates the depth. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I mean, you can get a nice mirror shine in two to three coats, but it's never going to come close no. to the depth of a mirror shine that you spent, you know, two days and yeah. a hundred coats of polish on. Um, and actually, you know what, doing the mirror shine actually saved some of my shoes because, you know, it, it creates protective layers. So if you scratch them or if you, if you bang them uh, right on the, on, the cap, on the toe, you pissed off because you just screwed your <laughs> mirror shine, but you didn't, uh, you didn't do anything you to didn't the shoes. The shoes yeah. uh, you, you just, you know, uh, only the layer that was uh, uh, that was uh, 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 that you put on it is, is, is needs to be removed and changed. But that's it. Do you think it does anything for the uh, uh, waterproofing? Absolutely. Doing a layer like this? Yeah. yeah. No, there's no question. I mean, you know, the hard waxes and the uh, the wax polish actually are a better waterproofing agent than what you would use. Certainly safer for the leather than what you would get out of a um, you know like a super nulver. And most shoes, I mean, honestly, let's be honest, dress shoes, I mean, you'd be crazy to wear a nice pair of dress shoes in a downpour. So you just need light waterproofing so that if it's a drizzle or, yeah. you know, a splash of water or something that it doesn't ruin Or, you know, shoes. you are in the restaurant and someone drops something on you, which happened to me a couple of times. Hey, you know, things happen. Shoes, children, I mean, it's like Yeah, work. that's something. I mean, there's always right. something to ruin a beautiful pair of shoes. I call it defensive walking. Or even, you know, the subway or... Uh, on the city you have to be, I'm sure, super careful. Yeah, I mean, you know, you spend, uh, you know, 30 minutes shining your shoes, just put them on and, 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 and you know, you scratch them on them something or, or like someone crack walk on, on, on you a... or uh, it starts raining on you or anything like this. So now I carry... Um, you know the, the shoe protective uh, thing that you uh, sell the on the project. Yeah. Um, that, that's that stuff is great. You know, for living in the city, I could totally understand always having a pair of those in your bag. Oh. How's the time? Let's see. Let me see your watch. Oh, nice. I think we can all oh, yeah. see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it definitely. Hold them up. Let's see yours and mine. I think you're uh, pretty close. Yeah, very pretty close. close. Very close. You're good, man. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, yep. Perfect. I think we're done. Oh, yeah. That's a, you know, I, 
I, I call it the mirage of a mirror shine. I mean, you really have to be careful. Uh, with the suit? Yeah, well, uh, certainly with yeah, your suit. White shirts. Actually, I think, I'm I think okay. we're good, yeah. Uh, but you've got to be careful from like falling into your shine. And, uh, you know, you could get stuck, yeah. you know, yeah. forever. Yep. Yep. And, I, and, you know, in one wrong step will screw up all the hard work. You know, if you put too much uh, mirror gloss on it, or if you put too much water, or if you put, you know, any wrong step at this stage will ruin up the whole work you put into it. Yeah. Um, I, um, I, often, I make myself, you know, put my shoes on the floor and kind of stand up and look at them because, you know, you, know, you know, if I'm looking at close, them like this, yeah. I'm like, well, I still need, you know, more work, but it's important yeah. to keep things in perspective. Yeah, I keep things in pros perspective. And also, I've heard a lot of people were using stockings to finish up. Uh, what's your take on this? You know, I mean, they work, um, but it's not going to produce this level of mirror shine. No. You know, but for taking a stocking on the entire shoe, and you know, rub it. yeah, I mean, it just, you know, again, it's the friction. Yeah. And so, uh, it just helps increase the friction. So, what do you think of uh, Arthur's? Uh, old clothing. Yeah, I think I've got something to look forward to as uh, Nicholas begins to grow out of his, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, petit bateau. Uh, petit bateau. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. I think we've got some of this. This is actually, it's a great fabric, so. Right. Coming soon to the Hangar Project, a new, <laughs> a new line of uh, chamois. Yeah, yeah, Alex, hey, thank you My so friend. much. Yeah, thank you so you much. You know, it's uh, it was a pleasure. such a pleasure to be able to do this with great friends. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, I, and if if we were both we, uh, in New York, I mean, we would, our I think shoes would never be without a shine. <laughs> I think we'd do that every week, you know. You know 10 o'clock on Sunday. <laughs> exactly. You know, head to Alex's. Yeah. And it would give me an excuse for my wife, you know, I'm sorry, I'm hanging out with Kirby. It could be worse. You know, <laughs> exactly. Could be at the bar. You know, there's much, much less benign ways to spend time. True, you know, the only problem with shoe shine is your hands are a little, you know, colored afterwards. And, okay, you know, you it's... Know, it's uh, the grit you, of hard work. And, you know, if you put it on your, on your shirts, then your wife is pissed off, but, you know. That's, That's part of life, I guess. Well, these are beautiful, beautiful Berludis. Happy to give my, my Cleverly's a little bit of attention. You know, uh, uh, Cleverly, I have to say, for, for a simple black um, capto, they really do a good job to, uh, to make it special, to make it uh, uh, great. And, and the feeling you have on, the, on this... Uh, on this uh, um, uh, shoe tree? Shoe tree is, is great. You have no room, I mean, they, they stretch, perfectly stretch. I mean, it's, it's and I love yeah. the, the toe, I mean, come no, on. No, the toe is a beautiful, and what's nice about this particular cap toe is it's two layers of leather because of the cap, right? And, the, you know, you can sky the leather of the under layer so that it's still just one, but here it's two layers, and it just gives a nice kind of volume, volume. and roundness yeah, yeah, to yeah. the cap that I really appreciate, and it's, you know, a very subtle detail, I mean, it's, I think you know, totally black, different uh, than these, but um, but these are, you know, they're your victory shoes. They, yeah, I mean, they, they were the winning shoes, you know, if... Uh, Beef victory. Uh, exactly, you know, they, 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 you know. Beautiful, though. I love the green, I love the, you know, I mean... Yeah, great, well, voila. Thank you so much, yeah, my friend. It was nice to hang out yeah. with you. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel.